Good morning, everyone. This is Ryan Edner with your Wednesday, November 6th morning commentary. Uh, for weather maps, let's just say that they're cold. We'll start right here with NOAA's outlook. Uh, take a look at what they're looking for for across the Midwest. Uh, cold to come in for areas to the west has already come in for areas uh, east of the Mississippi River comes in here tonight. Uh, this cold dominates through the rest of the week, and as they point out on this slide, uh, getting even colder next week. So the main issue we're dealing with here is cold. The precipitation maps are actually pretty light, but with this cold, uh, it does say that whatever precipitation falls over the next couple of weeks is likely to be almost 100% snow. Again, no major snow in the forecast, but we will mention that what would have been a sprinkle or a shower is uh, likely to be at least light accumulations of snow. Uh, so now let's uh, look forward to Friday's report. We have the analyst estimates out here. And what we want to point out is the difference between the analyst numbers and what trade is trading. Let's start off here with the corn. Analysts are looking for the uh, carryout to go from 1929 last month to 1817 on Friday. That would be actually be a moderate, uh, moderately bullish report. Uh, but now let's flip over to the corn chart and see that when uh, when the October report came out with that 1929 number. Uh, corn had finished trading that day at 391 and a half, and we find ourselves this morning at 392 and a half, just a penny off of where we settled on that October crop report. So while the analysts are looking for a slightly bullish report, uh, price is showing us that traders are actually looking for a neutral report. Uh, let's flip over now to the bean side of things, where we find much the same story. Last month, the carryout for beans was 460. This month, analysts are looking for that to drop down to 428. And now another flip over to the bean chart. We see that Jan Beans finished on the October crop report at 937 and a half. We're currently 934 and a half. So exactly the same scenario here. Analysts looking for a supportive report, while traders pricing in more of a neutral report for the beans. Just something to keep in mind here uh, when we do get Friday's numbers. Uh, that price suggests neutral, even though the analysts are looking for slightly bullish. So if we see price reactions on Friday, uh, this could explain why uh, we get the reactions we do, is that price is telling us to look for a neutral report. Quick note on the cattle here, we don't have any cash bids or offers here yet. We're working with a 6700 higher show list. Uh, normally, that would imply about a dollar lower. However, box beef continues to be on an active move higher. Uh, so maybe that could offset the higher show list and allow packers to pay up a little bit more this week, despite the slightly higher show list. Uh, so when looking for bids and offers today, keep in mind last week's trade was 111.98.